Hi, I'm Rob Reed from Roland. I'm here at the Varvid office and I'm showing the brand new Roland V1 SDI switcher. This little four channel switcher is awesome for doing uh, live corporate events, uh, for educational environments, uh, even uh, for church applications. You can use this little four channel switcher for doing a multitude of live events as well as streaming and recording your events. So let me just talk a little bit through the V1 SDI. Um, we have on the first two channels uh, dedicated SDI inputs and then on the uh, third inputs it's either SDI or HDMI and then the fourth input is HDMI and it has full scaling capability so I can take in SD resolutions all the way up to high definition and scale it. Let's take a closer look at some of the features of the V1 SDI. So I have three camera sources connected so here's camera one, camera two, camera three, and I also have uh, a Macintosh computer plugged into input 4. So input 4 is uh, HDMI which also has the capability to do full scaling. So I can take a standard definition resolution all the way up to HD and scale it. So that's my computer resolution there. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features. Uh, what's cool is it's got an on-screen menu. So I'm going to show you that on-screen menu. All I have to do is hold the setup button down and when I hold the setup button down now I can go in and make adjustments so as you can see as I mentioned on input 4 on the HDMI input I have full scaling capability so right now the zoom is at hundred percent but I can use the t-bar and adjust uh, the amount of uh, zoom that I have so I'm gonna switch over to the computer source input 4 so you can actually see me um, scaling that source right now so let's just go to you know 99 to hundred percent I can also adjust the vertical position and I can also adjust the horizontal positions as well. The other thing I want to show you is the output. So we've got again three SDI inputs and then input 4 is HDMI but actually input 3 can be SDI or HDMI. So on the outputs I have two SDI outs and I also have an HDMI out. Typically your HDMI out is used for your preview monitor but that can also be assigned to your program out as well so if you want to go HDMI directly to your computer for capturing, recording, or streaming you can use that output. Um, and then the two output buses again are program out and preview out that can be fully assignable. So right now as you can see uh, my SDI preview assign out is sent to program. Um, and then on my HDMI out which this is this little monitor over here um, I've set it to program but I can also move it to either my preview bus which shows my next shot or I can do my multi view so I can see all of my four video sources while you're operating the, uh, the, the switcher, the V1 SDI. So as you can see a lot of flexibility in terms of the routing of the outputs either to program out, preview out, or to multi-view out. As I'm showing you here on the front panel setup and you can see my menus, you can also connect a Mac or a PC and download our free remote control software and do all of the controls that you see um, me doing on the on-screen menus as well. All right, so um, you can also do color correction on the video output. So let's say, for example, one of your screens or, or displays don't look very right. Um, you can make uh, adjustments on contrast, saturation, and brightness. Okay, let's look at uh, some of the other things that you want to do. Maybe transition time. So right now, I've, my transition time is 0.9 seconds. What I'm going to do is take the setup button and take it off. And then, um, actually, what I'm going to do is hold the setup button. I'm going to go change... Um, my video output to be uh, program out. So let's preview, let's do program out. So you can see me uh, make these adjustments in real time. So right now I have it on a mix. Um, if I wanted to, I can switch now to another camera source or I can do an auto take between my video sources as well. So I just selected my second um, video camera source and all I have to do is hit auto take and it does a nice 0.9 second cross dissolve. So um, let's go to the other uh, video source as well. All I have to do is hit the take button again. As you can see, it does a nice cross dissolve. Um, it also has other capabilities like picture in picture, split screen, and you can also do a downstream key. So let's show you the picture in picture window. So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this other video source and hit picture in picture window. And then when I move my T bar, up now it brings the picture in picture window up and using my control knobs here I can move and position the picture in picture window exactly where I want it and then just by tapping the picture in picture button it uh, takes it off I can also do things like split screen so for example um, 
maybe if I hit split screen, I've got a close up of my hands on the, on the video switcher. As you can see, moving this control knob here, I can change the framing of my picture in picture split screen, or my split screen, I should say. As you can see, I'm changing the framing. So maybe for example, if my camera's not exactly framed right, um, I can go in there and adjust the framing just by using the control knobs. Pretty cool. All right, so lastly, um, I just wanna show you really quickly how you do keying. A lot of people wanna do chroma key. I using a green screen or a blue screen. I'm gonna show you how you set up um, doing keying uh, using a computer. So I'm gonna switch over to my computer and do full screen on my computer. As you can see, I'm just using Keynote in the background right now, and um, I can switch to my next slide, and I created a little slide with my title on a black background, and using Keynote in a Mac, or you can use PowerPoint in Windows, I just hit full screen, and now you can see that's my uh, title on a, a blue uh, lower third uh, title. So I'm gonna go over to um, the full screen here, and then what I do is I tap my downstream key, and what it does is it, it takes the black background and, uh, and it keys that out so I can use that as a lower third title. So now all I have to do is, um, let's say I needed to adjust the key level, there's a key level button, I tap that down and I use my control knobs here. As you can see, I'm keying out a little bit of the blue or if I change it even more, you can barely see the title. So you can see you can make uh, fine tune adjustments on the key as well. So pretty easy to adjust the key. So if you're doing like a green screen or a blue screen and you have a different hue of blue or green, you can go and make those adjustments on there. Um, lastly, let's just talk a little bit about audio. So in order to do that, I'm gonna um, go to this screen and I'm gonna tap in the audio button. And as you can see, um, I have mastering audio effects. So I have noise suppressor, enhancer, um, and I've got my EQ, so my high, mid, and low EQ. So I can scroll down um, into my audio mastering capabilities here, um, and I can also adjust the audio level of the audio coming through each SDI source or HDMI source. And if I scroll down through here, you can see I have audio in. So if I have an audio mixer, uh, mixing audio for the room or separate for my microphones, I can take that in. There's a little um, RCA uh, audio in in the back here. And so I can bring in audio from the, my audio mixer as well. It also has a little eighth inch, uh, eighth inch powered microphone input too. So if I'm doing just a, like a talking head type uh, video presentation or maybe a web stream or record, I can just hook my microphone up into this eighth inch and adjust the volume level in here. So that's the audio capability. Lastly, a lot of people like this for live production is, is the freeze frame. So I'm gonna hit the freeze button and you notice I'm talking now and the screen is now frozen. All I have to do is hit the unfreeze button and it just catches right up to where you're doing in the live stream. So this is the V1 SDI. Again, it's a four channel mixer with audio mixing capabilities built into it as well. And it's got your picture in picture, it's got your split screen, it's got your keying effects, and it's all for $14.95 list price.